What's going on YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to Life is Angie and James. I'm your girl Angie. I'm your boy James and, and we're, we're back, back with another video. video. Before we get into today's video, we would like to update you all on what you can expect with the growth of our channel. As you all know, our channel is named Life is Angie and James because Angie and I have always wanted to share our lives and growth with the world hoping to inspire everyone around us. With that being said, we have a few updates in regards to our content and posting schedule. For content, we're gonna be posting some really fun videos that highlight all the things that we love in life. The true essence of life as Angie and James is love, family, fun, business, just all types of things. The list can go on and on and we're so excited to share other sides of ourselves with you. As of today, as you're seeing, we're posting on a Monday. Our new posting schedule is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so that you guys can get a little piece of us all throughout the week. And if you happen to miss us during the week, you can just binge watch us on the weekend. So we're super excited for this new schedule. We're so excited for this next chapter in the growth of this channel. Thank you guys so much. It's not possible without you guys. We appreciate you guys more than you know. You know this, mm -hmm. but you know what we're saying. Yeah. And yeah, so let's just get right into today's video so a lot of you have been asking and sending us questions about branding saying that you want to learn more about it and you want more information so today we're going to start with five key elements of branding and it's kind of sort of like the basics of what you should know so that we can further expand on it in the coming future okay so the first key element you want to focus on is your brand's voice your company's brand voice is the personality and emotion that you infuse within your company's communication. This helps humanize your brand, showcases your business values, and separate you from your competitors. So for example, with our company Serene Living, our brand is all about peace, serenity, relaxation. It screams being more with nature and the earth. So you wanna make sure when you come with your brand voice, your customers can feel a certain type of emotion when they visit your page or when they receive a product from you. If y'all wondering what this is next to us, it's a vase that uh, we made with some moss in it. It's our desk. Yeah. So next you're gonna have your brand promise. This includes things like your mission statement and everything that pretty much you're promising to your consumer. A brand's promise is supposed to set expectations for your customers or your consumers, and then it holds you accountable for meeting those expectations. So an example of this is Geico that says 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. We all know from the, you know, the Commercial. commercials and things like that, but that is their brand promise. So the next key element you want to focus on is brand targeting. And this pretty much outlines your target audience by age, demographic, geographic location, interests, hobbies, income personality traits, all of that. So uh, you wanna make sure when you create your business and create your company, you wanna pinpoint exactly which target audience you wanna target, who will be interested in your products or your company's services. So next up, we have brand values. Brand values are pretty much the guiding principles that show what your company stands for. Brand value really helps your company become more relatable to consumers, especially your target market, because if you have, say, values like integrity, you know, honesty, innovation, maybe it's a religious belief. So let's use Chick-fil-A for an example. Chick-fil-A is a Christian establishment that is closed on Sundays. So for other Christians in the world that might resonate with them, like how sweet is that, that they're actually closed on Sundays and let their employees enjoy that day off. So values can really help you relate to your customers even better. Another example with the whole Christian, you know, believe is Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, if you listen, they're actually playing lots of Christian music in the background, things like that. So, you know, again, those values are values that we have in our everyday mm -hmm. lives. It's not anything different from the usual values. Like James and I, our Serene Living Company is a green company. Uh -huh. We are super big on earth friendly things, things that are okay. Like we don't like to put toxic things and stuff like that out there. So we have a lot of customers that relate to that same value and that's why they keep coming back and purchasing from us. Brand value can help a lot in pretty much relating you to your customers. The next key brand element that I feel we're all familiar with is brand identity. This includes color palettes, logos, fonts and lettering, as well as how you visually represent yourself on social media. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, a company like Target, we all love Target. I think we all love Target. <laughs> Target is infamous for the color red, the font of the word Target, and they are also known for the logo, which is a Target, you know, bullseye. Yeah. You come up with your company logo and words and phrases and colors that'd be easily identifiable by your clients and your customers. Another part of your brand identity is actual the physical aspects mm -hmm. and tangible items mm -hmm. for your company. So going back to James and I, Serene Living Company, mm -hmm. our packaging, 
and things like that that's also part of your brand identity so like here <laughs> i'm about to use this y'all this is the bike the, the bike mic. the bike this is the box to our mic that we're using and obviously the company is movo and the colors are blue and white and then you'll notice no matter what brand like james said earlier target uses a specific font mm -hmm. and and they use their font group and that is it any other company that you, you know you'll see they use specific fonts specific colors mm -hmm. like super specific colors not just like so if you see black it's not just a black trust me that black mm -hmm. has a code that's specific to itself mm -hmm. you know you can like protect these legally and everything yes. so this is the part that we've been getting a lot of questions on things like logos things like color palettes and stuff like that so please comment down below if you would like for james and i to go into a whole video mm -hmm. on your brand style guide so what that is is again your logo your fonts your tech like it's just a way to put everything in one it's kind of like a business plan but for like the look of your business so we can go step by step through everything and kind of help you guys figure out how to put something like that together where it's pretty much a guide again with brand identity you want to be very specific or you want to be you want to think very deeply about what colors you choose because certain colors exudes an emotion right to customers for example red it makes you want to buy it. it makes people get excited about spending money and things that green represents eco-friendly it represents money it represents wealth uh yellow is yellow happy, is, yeah, right? yeah 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 go ahead go ahead go ahead, go ahead. yellow exudes happiness mm -hmm. and just makes people excited about something mm -hmm. yeah so and blue is more so like a calming mm -hmm. relaxation you know color so yeah you really gotta do your research yeah you want to really think about what your company represents and what you want clients to feel when they either receive your packaging or receive your products or come across your website or social media branding is definitely the fun part of starting a business and mm -hmm. things like that but you also have to be very intentional that mm -hmm. is our key advice to you mm -hmm. to be very intentional and very specific when you are choosing your slogans and your text and your font and certain words that you use like mm -hmm. like for all our picnic planners you guys know that for us we don't call our picnics picnics we call them settings so that's a part of our branding. So it's just really up to you and your business and your company. You have to sit down and figure these things out. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to do, mm -hmm. but they're also very important because that's what helps you become, like your company become your company. It's gonna be noticed by other people based on your branding. Another tip I wanna add in there as a bonus is just, if your company is a positive-based company, be mindful, as you mentioned a little bit about it, uh, the words you use. So if yeah. you want customers to feel positive, even if it is a positive message, try not use a negative word. So let's say, don't use I can't or I don't. Try to use I can, I will, I am. You get what I'm saying? Because it adds a little more positive thing. Even if you said I can't wait to start something, be like, I'm, I'm so excited, excited to start something. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just it's just a tone. Yeah, and that goes back to your brand voice mm -hmm, that James mm -hmm. talked about earlier. So. Yeah, so that's that's I just want to add that in there because I want to elaborate on the whole types of words and ways to use words, even yeah. if you're trying to portray a positive message. Sometimes taking negative words out and using a more positive or more neutral word it add a little more character and voice to your company. That's gonna wrap up this quick branding basics video that we want to give to you guys. We feel it's super important before we start elaborating on certain things that you guys at least can start hearing some certain terms. We feel it's important for you to learn certain terms if you're not already aware of them before we move forward and learning together about all these fun things. So we just wanted to throw this out there first. Please let us know down below if you want us to go more in depth about any one of these categories or all of these categories. We'll be more than happy to do so for you. You know that already. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram pages. We have that all down below. Make sure you follow both James and I, our Instagram together, which is at life is angie and james and of course yeah just hit that subscribe button yeah <laughs> thank it. you guys so much we appreciate you more than you know we say this every time yes but it's the truth mm -hmm. like always you know i love you she love you we love you peace, peace.